Hello, welcome back to Fruit Reviews. Today on Fruit Reviews, we're going to review a fruit. Thank you for joining us. Today's fruit is an apple, but not just any apple. This is a cosmic crisp apple, which um, is kind of a big deal, I've been told. Um, this, is an, this is actually a brand new designer apple. Um, it's been being developed since 1997, meaning that it's only a year older than I am. Um, and it just hit the shelves in December of 2019. And this, I, this is the first time I've seen it ever at a grocery store. It's very big. This is a big old fucking apple and it was very expensive. It was like two, 250, a, 250 a pound. So like, it's a big, expensive apple, and it's IMO. I've had two of these already. Pretty worth it. It's a good apple. It definitely appeals to my sensibilities of what an apple should taste like. Um, I know I've done an apple review before, and I wish that I had the results from that review available to cross-reference, for, for example, in a textual format instead of as a 25-minute video. But you know, I'm not very good at my archival work around here sometimes. So, and for the time being, I will merely tell you some facts about this apple as I eat it. So, let's get started. I'm uh, gonna ch chop this up in the way I always chop up apples. Chop up here, here, and here. So you can see that I hope the balance kept the hope the balance works out right. You can see that it's like a uniform reddish orange color, and the inside is sort of like the so I can get the light to not catch right. It's just standard apple. It looks like a good apple. It's cut. It's cuts very nicely. It's not too crisp, though. I've had this just sitting around for like a week or so. And when you bite into it, the flavor definitely goes through like three distinct stages. Where first, it's just sort of a little bit. Cottony, sweet, but then I get then you actually get a lot of bitterness. Not as much bitterness as you might like a gran Granny Smith, but s I'm sorry, not what, not bitterness. What am I saying? Tartness. Like you might agree, not as much not as much as a Granny Smith, but certainly enough to appeal to my sensibilities as someone who likes sour things. Um, but but then the end notes of it are like like cotton candy level sweet. This is a very, very interesting taste. You got an excellent crunch, an excellent slurp, and really good tartness, and I am a really good sweetness. Some people think that they're not tart at all. I, I definitely, I have, being the lesbian that I am, I eat fruit with my friends sometimes. And so some of the other reviews that I've heard have indicated that the tartness is not enough and the sweetness is too much. But different strats for different brats. So technically this is a crossbreed between the Honeycrisp and the Enterprise apples. I had never heard of an Enterprise apple before. But, um, it's those. And, there's all sorts of like market calculations out there. Trend, trend spotter apple. You're supposed to, you, my little apple friend. There are great expectations placed upon you. You're supposed to outpace Pink Lady and uh, Honeycrisps in a few years, but right now you're really fucking expensive, probably because there aren't a whole lot of trees yet. The term Cosmic Crisp is also like a registered trademark, which is hilarious. It's an apple.
but it's delicious. What else did I want to say about this? I think this is mostly an apple that's good for like eating by itself or with cheese. Baking it with it would be a mistake. It's got way too delicate flavors that the flavor would totally get destroyed if you were to bake this. Um, I think there's a, there's a lot of the really interesting flavor that comes from the skin. Like, that's definitely where a lot of the sweet can cotton candy flavor comes from is in the skin, whereas the flesh is what's got a lot of the tartness in it. And that's about it. This is an apple. If you liked this video, you should maybe try eating one Cosmic Crisp if it fits in your budget. And I don't blame you if it doesn't because it's a fucking expensive apple. And I have a budget for fruit reviews. Incidentally, you should donate to me so that I can pay for captioning these videos. That's what the actual fruit reviews budget goes towards. Well, I hope that you, as a viewer, as a loyal fruit lover and or lesbian, have discovered today that we can, as a community, as a scientific horticulture, hort agricultural community, create new things, things that are interesting, things that fill niches that were previously unexplored. I think that if you have an opportunity in your life to crossbreed a new kind of apple, you should take it because you might come up with something delicious. Amadri, signing out. <laughs>